With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is a block of weight 200 Newton is pulled along a rough horizontal surface at a constant speed by a force of 100 Newton acting at an angle of 30 degree above the horizontal. The coefficient of friction between the block and the surface is the options are 0 0.43, 0 0.58, 0.75, 0.85. So first of all, what I have to do, we simply have to construct a figure so that everything will be clear for us to understand. So this is my figure and this is a block onto the particular body. So what we do have to do next, we simply have to construct it so that we can get to our conclusion. So suppose this is my particular, the, this is the point from where what I'm talking, this is a point where we draw the normal. So this is my normal. And if it is normal, this will be my weight that is mg and the weight is given to me. That is what 200 Newton. Okay. And we are also being given by the angle of the force with the horizontal. That means this angle is my 30 degree. That is theta is 30 degree and this is a force that is being given to me and the force is being given with 100 Newton. So this is my force of 100 Newton. And if it is a force, it makes an angle theta. So this will resolve into the F cos theta and this part will also resolve with the F sin theta. Okay. And uh, we know that the force is always opposed by the frictional force. That means this is my frictional force F of R. So these things is being given to me. We know that since the body is at the particular body is given to me. And we know that if a body is moving at the constant speed or constant velocity means no net force is here. No net force because the constantly moving body. So what we have to do, we simply conclude here. We can say that the body is being balanced by the two forces. The two forces F cos theta and FR. It means that the body is simpler balanced by FR is nothing but is equals to F cos theta. The body is being balanced by this way. So here from the figure, we can say that the N plus F sin theta and plus F sin theta is nothing but is equals to what? Is equals to W that is equals to mg and that is also is equal to what? The value 200 Newton. Now we know that we can write N is equals to 200 minus F sin theta. And also, also one thing is very important that is F of R is my given to me as nu of n normal and this nu of n is nothing but is nu n is 200 minus f sin theta so from this point and we know that fr is my f cos theta so we can write it here fr is nothing but is equals to f cos theta is equals to nu of 200 minus f sin theta then after what we have to do simply evaluate it or we can say that the value of nu will become f cos theta divided by 200 minus f sin theta and the values every value is being given to me we know that the force is given to me as 100 simply put 100 here we know that the value of theta is being given to me and the theta is being given to me as 30 degree. So I write F of cos 30. We know that the value of cos 30 is nothing but is equals to root 3 by 2. Simply I write it here directly. This will be 200 minus F is given to me 100. Sin 30 is my 1 by 2. Okay. So if I evaluate it, you will get mu is equals to 100 into root 3 by 2 divided by this will be cancel out and this will become 200 minus 50 that is 150. Now 0 0 will cancel out 5 2 za 5 3 za and this 2 will cancel out so you will get implies that the value of mu will become 
will be is equal to what? 1 by root 3. This will be the value of mu in this particular concept because we are just dealing with each and every concept. We are saying this 150 and this will become mu. So the value of the particular figure will now cancel out. And one important thing is that uh, how mu is equals to 1 by root 3 is coming out. You can in simply evaluate it that mu is coming to be root 3 by 3. You can also write it here what root 3 divided by 3 can also be written as root 3 into root 3 and this will be cancelled out and this can become 1 by root 3 that is what I am getting it here. On further evaluating we get mu is equals to 0 0.58. So the value of the friction coefficient of friction 0 0.58 that means our correct answer is option number B. I hope this is clear to you all. Thank you very much for watching this video. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.